Hello everyone, this is Vortex259. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today we're going to continue making our trek through the Cyclone. In our previous episode we had just enough time to explore the first couple of floors of the Cyclone. We found a couple of treasure chests. One contained a ripper knife and this one contained a poison axe. So let's go ahead and equip the poison axe on Guy. I'm going to replace his ice lance. You can see the poison axe is an axe with a poison dipped blade. You can inflict the uh, poison status on a monster with the poison axe. And you'll notice I actually have two poison axes. That's because I actually won an extra one off one of the monsters I fought. And hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that particular monster soon. So I'm lucky enough to get to equip two poison axes on Guy and take his attack up to 173. All right, well this is a dead end, so we're gonna have to do some backtracking. So let's go back across the electric floors here and go back to the staircase. Back down to the second floor. This looks like a good place to use the B button dash and zoom around to the other staircase, taking us back down to the first floor. Well, you gotta watch out for those vampire ladies and the vampire girls. Seems like their physical attacks cut right through your defense. The amount of damage they do seems to be based as a percentage of your maximum HP. Look at the number they did on my party. Wow. Okay, I went ahead and took some time to heal up there. On the bright side of things, Guy got an axe skill level increase. It is now level 8. Okay, let's go back down through this set of stairs and find ourselves back on the first floor. This time we want to head west from the staircase, so let's go this way. Got some more skill ups after that battle. Furion's mini spell is now level 7. Maria got a knife skill level increase to 5. And Guy's flare spell leveled up to level 2. So that's some pretty good progress for the end of one battle. Okay, we are back on the second floor, but not for long. Because we can now take this staircase up back to the third floor of the Cyclone. And by the way, Furion's Ultima spell is now level 3. More progress there. Okay, on this floor we have access to two staircases. Let's go ahead and take this one first in the northwestern corner of the room. And this will take us to the fourth floor and we'll be able to pick up two treasure chests. Take your pick. You can either go left or right here. I guess I'll go right first. By the way, you can fight wizards here in the Cyclone. If you want to try to get an extra Osmos Tome for one of your characters, you can try hunting down these monsters. They've got some very nasty magic they can use upon you. You can see they've already turned Maria into a toad. So I'm just going to keep fighting my way through the wizards, see if I can win an Osmos Tome, and I'll meet you back on the floor. Boy, you want to talk about an annoying monster. Wizards are nearly as annoying as the imps that we fought back in the Mycidian Tower. The plus side is that I survived the battle and everybody got a magic defense increase after surviving all the wizards nasty high-level magic attacks. Okay, here's the first treasure chest. Inside this chest we can pick up a diamond helm. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Ricard and replace his giant's helm with it. We'll take his defense up to 72. And let's go to the other side of the room now. Well, I'm glad I brought along some extra gold needles because that was a battle with seven cockatrice birds. Fortunately, they didn't turn any of my characters to stone. But you know what? The mini spill seems to work wonders against those things. Virion was able to take out at least four out of the seven of them in the first round. So that can be useful when fighting those birds. And we'll find a pair of diamond gloves in this chest. Also going to give those to Ricard. And take his defense up to 82, replacing his giant's gloves. He's going to need all the defense he can get a little later. Okay, here is a new enemy you can fight here in the Cyclone. This is the Royal Guard, and this is the monster that will drop the Poison Axe. So if you're trying to get an extra Poison Axe, you can try to win one off of these guys. Uh, otherwise, they have pretty high attack power, um, so be wary of that. Let's just uh, attack them with weapons. I'm going to have Guy go ahead and berserk up all my party members and just have everybody attack. Have Furion demonstrate his new Ultima spell. 
Well, the attack power is not too terribly bad. There's Ultima in action, which is kind of cool. And does 165 points of damage. So you can see even Ultima is not near as strong as weapons. The Royal Guards look very similar to the Black Knights that wiped out the party in the opening intro to the game. Looks like they can also poison you. Ricard got poisoned down there. One down, one to go. And looks like Guy's going to take the last one out with his two poison axes. Fearing gets a stamina bonus, and we get a new entry in the bestiary. The Royal Guard can be found at number 90. You can see it'll drop a poison axe, a unicorn horn, and a stun in warp tone. Let me take care of Ricard's poison here. And there we go, time to do some backtracking again, so let's head back down to the third floor. And this time we will go down to the southern part of the room to access our next staircase. So let's go up this set of stairs and find ourselves on the fourth floor yet again. And let's head east from here. Now here you'll notice ah, I was rudely interrupted by some cockatrice birds there. Anyway, what I started to say was that you'll notice that there are two staircases side by side. Let's take this left staircase first and go up to the fifth floor and then down and around to find some treasure. Looks like some electric floors are waiting for us just up ahead here. It would seem that the emperor forgot to put his electric barriers in front of the actual treasure. We don't have to worry about crossing the barriers because there's nothing on the other side, so let's just go down here to find a couple of chests. Let's open up this chest right here to find a Defender Sword inside. I'm going to give that to Furion and replace his Flame Sword. A sword made for defense that will take his attack power up to 165. Alright, one more chest to go get. And that was a battle with two royal guards. Here's our next chest we can get, but before we open it... Yep, you probably guessed it's a monster box, so let me heal up here just a bit. Okay, let's see what horrors await us in this box. Well, we'll find a diamond armor inside, that's not too bad. But it is a monster in a box, and it is guarded by generals. A rank 7 monster with 1800 HP. You thought the captains were bad. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. The generals hit even harder than the captains do, and their defense is pretty high. They're not immune to the mini or the toad spell, though, so if you want to take the lazy way out, you can try connecting the mini or toad spell with them. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is have uh, Maria use the uh, aura spell, I guess. Let's have. Guy, go ahead and berserk up Ricard and have Ricard attack. Well, take care of one. One down, one to go. Thanks to the mini spill. Ouch, look at that damage. Four digit damage on Guy. So he's going to need some curing up, it would seem. Well, I'll take my chances here. Wow, 1148 to Maria. Oh, there we go. Berserk really helped. We take out the last general, and we get some stat bonuses. Wow, look at that. I win a rune axe. That's the rarest item that the general has on it. I am very impressed. I'll definitely take that. Man, well, let's take a look at that entry in the bestiary here. The entry for the general is number 106. And you can see the rune axe is at the bottom of the list, so I was extremely lucky. Oh wow, well, let me go ahead and equip that on Guy. Poison axe is already obsolete. Rune axe will take his attack to 192, the strongest of axes, effective against magic. So it looks like I have the ultimate axe, thanks to that drop from the general. Hopefully you got it too. 
Well, let me go ahead and heal up here and then we'll do some backtracking. Well, I didn't realize how late it was in the video, so I guess I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop here already for today. Man, well, made some good progress today in the Cyclone. We'll continue exploring the Cyclone in our next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Thank you very much for watching today's video. This has been Vortex259. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you again next time.